Welcome back to another episode of MotoGP Mac and today we're going to talk about some of the updates that Honda brought to the test in Sepang. Now one of the first things that I noticed was that Honda were running the Ducati style front fork wings and here you can see a really good image of how they actually look. You will also notice that Honda is using the Aprilia type belly pan which you know is kind of in line with majority of the teams but again it looks like a very very basic version you will also notice that honda are running a type winglet that just sits above where the belly pan comes back in and you can see in these pictures that you know it's kind of it bends out at the bottom and then it goes straight into the fairing at the top. Now they did try different versions of that. As you can see here, it looks a little bit more squashed at the bottom, but still ties into the top. And with the LCR team, again, they were running another different version of this, but they ended up in the test mainly back to the one that they started it on. The other area where I noticed a lot that they were working on as well was getting the riders comfortable but also possibly shifting the riders weight a little bit forward here you can see one of the race seats and um, that they were using that was then changed to this thicker one and as you can see the front still stays at kind of the same thickness but the back is slightly raised up now this is either doing one of two things it is either one providing a little bit of comfort for the rider which is very possible, but these seats do not provide a lot of comfort. So I would think it is also trying to shift the rider's weight a little bit forward on the bike. Also, you will see here that there has been modifications done to the tank. You must remember Honda have two tall riders now, so they will definitely need some modification on the tank to make sure that they can so grip the tank or grip the bike properly. Also, I suppose one of the major talking points for Honda was their rear wing or their rear cowling section. They did try different versions over the course of the test. They tried new Stegosaurus type wings. They tried the type of Stegosaurus and rear wing combined, um, which they did, to be fair, use majority of the time that they were out mir did run uh without any wings on the back at all uh, in a test which i do think is interesting that he actually did do that test um just to see i guess when i suppose the other thing is that they are running a new swing arm and this is a hrc swing arm not a calic swing arm which was on the one that was in valencia now I'm not sure a lot of people know this, but Honda did take one of the major project managers from Calix. His name is Alex from Calix, uh, and he is now in-house in HRC, helping in the design of not just the swing arm, but also the chassis. As I mentioned before, I think Honda have made a really good step. They're starting to understand stuff. And when you look at the overall time improvement from Honda of 1.1 seconds from Mir alone, I think it bodes well um, that Honda will close the gap. But saying that, while they have closed the gap, they are still quite a bit behind the Ducatis and the KTMs, in my opinion. But I would definitely love to know your thoughts. What is your favorite or what do you think is cool about the new Honda? Definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below and I'll be back again tomorrow with another video.